Okay, so it's about 10 to 6. We're in Coniston. This is the start for the Lake Lake Hundred. Great, yeah, nice and warm but uh, cloudy, so we should uh, have a cool evening once we get going. Great, see lots of friends, familiar faces, we're all starting to get into the pen at the moment, so we've all uh, dipped our zippers, just to show that we're actually uh, starting, and uh, we're just waiting for the uh, drum. Yeah, and we'll try and keep the hourly diary going like we have in other races. Try. See you later. So, hashtag live in the moment. It's now 7 pm. We've done our first hour. So that's four miles in, but that includes 659 meters almost, as we're on the Warner Scar Road. It's a pretty warm evening, cloudy, which is keeping it muggy. Um, but it's also not too bad here with a bit of a breeze, keeping it nice and fresh. As you can see, there's a big group of people behind us, but there's a big group of people in front. We've opted not to go for poles just yet, thinking we'll save that for some of the bigger climbs later and uh, to see how we're going. So, so far, there's been no mentions of cups of tea from Andy yet, so I presume we're doing well. And I haven't mentioned pizza till now either, so... Uh, oh, a cup of tea. <laughs> onwards and upwards. So that's 8pm, two hours in. We've done uh, just over eight miles, got to uh, Seathwaite. Which is checkpoint one in one hour forty. Very uh, humid going up the hill now. Um, but really enjoyed the descent down into Seathwaite. But now it's midgy country, which isn't the nicest, obviously. But hopefully, when we get onto the moors at the top, the breeze will blow it away. Um, yeah. So far, we're living them in the moment. Ooh, is that recording? It is recording, excellent. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. Four hours in, we left Boot, which is uh, 14 miles. Got there at three and a half hours, which was nice timing. Um, then nice little mozzie ridden, um, or midi ridden path up. That we're now over the moor, so it's 15 and a half miles, and uh, nice to have a cool breeze to blow the midges away. Um, gonna have to get sleeves out soon, I think, when we get the uh, head torches on because it's starting to get just a little bit chillier. I think the race started half an hour earlier last time we did it, so uh, it was still at least a little bit light as we went over this bit, but not far to Wasdale, and, uh, and then the big climb up towards Busby. Enjoying it so far, hashtag live in the moment. So here we are at uh, one hundred to go. Is that right? Yeah. That's why we're busy. Nineteen point four miles done. Yeah. There's a nice little spread of food here. Welcome us. Doing well. Yeah, we've got five hours to get to bottom here to beat the cut off. Seven miles away. Fine. Sure. But yeah, nice bits of fancy dress. Bye. So it's midnight, that's six hours in. We're at uh, just under 22 miles, and it's that long, awful climb, that black sail. But uh, we're getting there. Poles are out, it's pitch black. It's fantastic seeing the uh, snake of lights behind us. Don't know if you'll pick that up at all. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We're heading down to Buttermere now. Miss, we was about quarter past the hour. We missed the hour because we're getting so excited racing down the hill. Oh, great stuff after a slog up Black Tail and past the Youth Hustle and then the next slog up here. It's wonderful to be on the move again. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, whoop, almost 25 hours, 25 miles. Um, so yeah, very happy just to be going down. Bye. You right? Yeah. So, eight hours done. That's 27 miles 14. We've just gone into Buttermere. Uh, I don't know what the best thing to do with my head torches. Um, miles. Hmm? Sorry, Carol. 27 miles. Yeah. yeah. 27 miles. Just gone into Buttermere. <sighs> Checkpoint, whatever that is. Uh, 
yeah, plodding along okay. Andy's just having a quick uh, shoe check. Um, there was very, very nice chocolate milkshake in there. You had the soup. What was the soup like? Uh, nice veggie, slightly salty. Excellent. So yeah, uh, as they say, hashtag live in the moment. <laughs> so that's uh, three o'clock in the morning. Um, been going nine hours. And we're at uh, 29 three quarter miles or so. Uh, still on the climb out of uh, Buttermere. Just about to get to a nasty steep bit. And then uh, some lovely downhills into uh, Braithwaite. Pretty tough going. It's funny how all the people we keep overtaking on the downs are just ca catching us up now. And uh, they're all aware that we'll soon be flying past them. So, okay, it's getting tough, but uh, we're getting there. It's uh, four in the morning. Um, well, uh, 25 more is it? Yeah. We're going 10 hours 20. We're at 33 miles. It's Braithwaite. Hi, I'm Mum. <laughs> don't put a minute, don't put a minute. Oh, right. We, we can edit that later. Okay. Um, just had some nice spicy pasta. It's probably a bit too spicy. Hopefully, his stomach won't rebel. And he's got a cup of tea. Yeah. So, head torch is off now because the. Uh, it's getting enough daylight. And, uh, yeah. See how we go. I'll do my bit. <clears throat> I decided the hill was too much for my Achilles, so I decided to drop out here at Braithwaite. I was trying to make my way over to Dalmain to see the 50 start. And then the support's there on route. So um, she's on her own now. Scary <laughs> stuff. So it's five in the morning. That's 11 hours done and uh, 35 and almost half miles done on the old railway line now heading towards Keswick. Really enjoying my rice pudding. I'm a pass uh, Braithwaite. A bit weird being on my head. No, it's just okay. It's a bit dark and gloomy along here but fine. So the daylight is definitely coming. And uh, yeah, see how we go. Hashtag saving the moment. So it's uh, 6 a.m. That means I've been going for 12 hours. I've done nearly 39 miles. So that's good. Uh, but then Catherine has all of these around here. So uh, that's because it's behind. I don't know whether you can see don't want water or not. But uh, yeah, pretty stunning morning. So uh, this little horseshoe. Here and then down to the Blencather Centre in about four miles time or so. So, should be okay. <coughs> Hashtag, what was it again? So, here we are. Um, that's 13 hours done. That means it must be 7 a.m. Um, that was the Blencather Centre, which is 41 official miles. I made it 42. Um, so, warming up a little bit. This is me with my sleeves on. Um, they were nice, fun people in their little tutus. It's quite amusing, really. Uh, and you had crisps there, I'm feeling full, which isn't a good sign, so I probably need to get some more electrolytes in my drink, which I'll do at some point. Um, downhill, aiming for the uh, railway line now. I think, oh, tinkering along happily. Um, I can't think if there's anything else much to say, but beautiful sunrise. Looks like it might be a nice day. It's a hashtag. Live in the moment. <sighs> well, this is a killer of a climb. It's uh, 8 a.m., so that's 14 hours. <sighs> Just over 46 miles done. <sighs> Climbing up to the uh, whole coach road, <sighs> having done the uh, railway line towards the old Keld, whatever it's called. <sighs> Ooh, really slowed down. I regret not getting my poles out. <sighs> I don't remember it being such a tough 
climb this time. But uh, never mind. Still moving forward and all that and uh, hashtag live in the moment. Okay, that took me by surprise. That's uh, 15 hours. I can't remember what time that is, probably nine ish or something like that. Anyway, almost, ooh, almost 50 miles by my watch, but I think I'm a mile ahead by their guesstimations because I should be at Dot Cray very soon. And that's uh, 49 miles. So, uh, oh, just gone past a bit where I really struggled last time. I think it's a little bit similar, but not quite as bad. Just had a load more electrolytes to my drink, hoping that'll help <laughs> in my quest for picking up rubbish as I go along. Got quite lucky. About 50 minutes or so ago, I uh, found a packet of shop blocks, and there was three left in it. So I've got another one to take in a couple of minutes, and <laughs> then it's just rubbish. But, uh, why not? But there again, I should really be easy, but I'm carrying. Anyway, on was on was on, but so uh, uh, yeah, nearly at Doc Cray. That's what I was saying, wasn't it? Um, hashtag live in the moment. So it's 10 o'clock, um, been going for 16 hours. That's uh, uh, my watch says 52 and a half. Mouse, that's halfway. Fantastic. Wow. Oh my. Um, I love this view. Hopefully you can see it. Matt Tan's taking photos of it. So all I can say is Doc Ray to the uh, rescue yet again. Nothing like a bit of leek and potato soup and three cheese and pickle sandwiches to revive you. Oh, not quite so many uh, midges as last year, so it's me having to move to get away from them. So do feel a lot better, whether it's because I've increased the amount of electrolytes in my water bottle, which is now being diluted a wee bit as well. Uh, so hopefully I'm not overdosing. Um, bit of a steep climb here, but not feeling anywhere near as much as before. Sun came out at one point, I thought, oh dear. I soaked my buff in some water, but then the sun went away. So at the moment I just started charging my uh, Garmin. It's quite pleased because I've done 15 hours when I started and uh, it said 25% battery left so it could last perhaps 18 hours or so we shall see as uh, I am thinking of ditching this battery charger and picking up Andy Slimline one when I get to the drop bag at uh, Dal Main which is where I'm heading now That'll be 60 miles by my watch. It's a fair way to go yet. <sighs> Much happier. <sighs> Hashtag live in the moment. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Better start again because I've no idea if that last one recorded or not. So, 11 seats. That means I've been going for 17 hours. Best part so far is a text from Andy saying he's at Dal Main. That's five miles away. I've done about 54, 55. And so that's good. I've just had a bit of a stop. Funnily enough, in the same spot we did uh, last time near the stream. Uh, just checked over my feet, put some more tape on them, uh, which feels much better. Much, much better. I felt like I'd got stones in there. Uh, and uh, a couple of the toenails felt a bit dodgy. Oops. Um, funny how I did the 160 and didn't get a single blister. Anyway, a bit damper today. I don't know. Ah, so yeah, feeling um, pretty good, pretty lively, pretty happy. Um, I was trying to work out where I was. Swinburne Park or something like that, I think. I don't know. Uh, going alongside Allswater, knowing full well I'm going to be on the other side of that soon enough. After Dalmain and all that sort of thing. But a fair distance to go yet. Looks like I'm going to miss the start of the um, 50. However, they do a little loop first and then come back down. So hopefully I won't get too caught up in in that. <sighs> Feeling good? Just need to work out what I'm going to have for my 11 uh, Hashtag. 
Live in the moment. Well, it's almost 12 o'clock. 18 hours. And uh, almost at 59 miles. Just over a mile to go to Dalmain. So the yeah, 50 mile race will start by now, I guess. They've got a four mile loop that they do first and then they come back through uh, the grounds of the house. Uh, so ch chances are at this rate I'm probably going to see a few of them. Uh, sorry, because some church bells ringing, so yeah, 12 o'clock. Um, oh, it's really warmed up. Looking forward to a lot more water <laughs> and uh, sunscreen, I guess. But, uh, oh, quite happy. Take us into pretty little places. Uh, Castle coming up and then it's two kilometres to Kiss and Cuddle with Andy Town. Hashtag live in the moment. Oh dear. That's a shame. Just had a lovely break with Andy and then all of a sudden it's time to do the video and I could have because he just walked up the hill a little bit with me and uh, could have done the video with him so oh 19 hours on the road must be one o'clock or something like that, I think. So, my watch says 61 miles. I think the official is 60. Um, oh, am I going the right way? Who knows? Um, so yeah, I had a half an hour break at Dalmain. Andy's uh, been back and showered. John Vernon very kindly took him down to Coniston so he could get the car and so he showered and changed. And now he's off to have lunch with my parents. And uh, ooh, my teeth. and entertain little Charlie. So I'm very jealous. <sighs> but the main thing is, now that we split up as a pair, I'm still entitled to finishing stuff. If I finish, it's fine. Oh dear. Right. So that was down main just behind, heading down towards Pewdie Bridge. I think I said 7.1, oh, wherever, wherever it is, I'm a little bit pain. Uh, yes, that'd be 7.1. Oh, I managed to catch the yeah, tail end of the 50s coming by up at Taker Castle because they'd uh, set up at half 11, not 12, as I thought. So uh, that was pretty cool. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> much, 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 much better. Hashtag live in the moment. Right, so it's uh, two o'clock, it's on 20 hours, and uh, I above all the rules, we can't quite see it. I know this route from um, other races like the uh, Tour of Hell Butler in winter, so it's quite nice to be doing it in daylight. Um, right, where am I? A little bit tired after that hard slog uphill. Didn't bother with poles because I hate doing it on the tarmac and then I should probably have done with it being a, a long way once you're off the tarmac. Oh, uh, had to do a blister stop. Yeah, typical not having to do it in checkpoints. Oh, never mind. Um, so I guess that was hashtag, hashtag live in the moment. Okay, a bit late doing this one, has. I got rather pampered at um, Earl Town by the cheer charge crew. Um, anyway, and then I forgot to tell Tim that I lost my cheer charge buff. Hey dear, sad times. So, on to one of the big, big climbs. Um, pretty much revived, and I had a poo, so that was really good. Ah, feel normal again. So, uh, who cares to him? I've done about 67, 68 miles. Who knows? Should be 66. I'm gonna slow down for a bit and uh, see what happens. So it's 4 pm, so that means 22 hours on the go. Got just over 69 miles. Really slowing down this. Here's a climb up to High Cup and it's uh, high. Just have taken three on the 50. <sighs> Who knows whether they'll come flying past or not. Oh dear, shattered. Probably need some more food. Although I ate lots of cheese. Drank 
John's gluten free cook down at Houghton. Oh, yeah, yeah, need something else. So I thought, a couple of minutes, sit down, get up to the three. Well, Andy said I waffle on too much. Hmm, he's quite right, because I've run out of space on my uh, camera now. So uh, I'm on to, no, camera. Yeah, camera, so I'm on to my phone now. Okay, so better be brief. Uh, it's uh, 24, almost 20, 24 uh, hours, so that's 6 p.m. I've done 73.88 miles. I'm walking along the side of Horse water, some beautiful views, very sunny, very warm. Just done a foot check because I've got a few more blisters. <sighs> but um, yeah, yeah um, hashtag, uh, what is it, live, live in the moment. Yeah, bye. Hey, so that's uh, 25 hours done, so that's 7 pm. Just coming down into Mardell Head, so that's uh, 76 and a half miles done. As you can see, it's a beautiful evening, gorgeous looking out over. Water, um, desperately needing food, uh, but yeah, doing well. Oh dear, right, not sure whether you can actually see this last little steep bit. It's taken me about 25 minutes to do half a mile to come out of um, Dock Ray, whatever it's called, at the end of Horse Water. No, oh, wherever I am. Anyway, uh, so that's 26 hours. So that must be 6, 7, 8 p.m. Uh, so that's 78 miles or 76 according to the book. I don't know. Anyway, good little feed there. There's none of the um, uh, powdered cup of soups like there, were, well, there was one year. It was some good proper old uh, leek and lentil. No, leek and potato soup. soup. So that's good. Oh, can't sit for too long. But looking forward to getting out of the sun. So it's 9 pm. Um, so that's 27 hours I've been going for. It's uh, 81 miles, which just seems incredible. That's 25 to go. Oh dear. It's such a tough downhill this. after that climb up. And you just think, yay, it's going to be downhill. But it's uh, just so rough on the feet. If you. Nice bits, but uh, not too bad. Anyway, um, I better get up and over this undulation. People will be annoyed when I keep saying, ah, oh, you'll overtake me on the next hills. Because uh, they, they think that's all the hills done. <laughs> They're just undulations, obviously. Okay, hashtag. Uh, <laughs> Live in the moment, live in the moment. Oh, live, live, live in the moment, live in the moment. Okay, so my Kemi, uh, this is a noisy checkpoint. Great smoothies, uh, 84 miles done. Oh, uh, it's 10 o'clock, so that's uh, uh, 24, 28 hours, something like that. It's dark outside, so I'm gonna crack on. I really hope I can finish this thing because I'm feeling better all the time. It's a nice bowl of uh, pasta as well. A uh, few midges. Those people have to <laughs> quite a few midges again. Uh, right, off I go. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. Mm, it's dark. Slowly getting up, gob and pass or whatever it is, and then it'll be down to um, Troutbeck and on to Ambleside where Andy's coming for a kiss kiss. Um, a bit colder. But uh, okay, usual thing, hard work going up, but surviving. Hashtag live in the moment. 
Okay, so I guess that's Sunday. It's midnight. That's 30 hours. Um, done nearly eight, 89 miles. And uh, just that last push to Ambleside. Find all the final slog home. So, just tired. Very tired. Hard going in the dark as well. I think it's about half past one in the morning, um, it's 31 and a half hours or so. Um, I've got about 15 miles to do, something like that. Um, that was tough, that last section. There's a guy asked uh, if I knew the route because he'd gone wrong so badly last year. So I've just come down with him and he fell over a few times and it was really quite slow and yeah, my poor feet. Luckily he said, uh, you'll see if there's somebody else. Hello. <laughs> um, to do the next bit with, see whether he knows it. Thank you. Oh, tea. So, anyway, yeah, um, quick bite to eat. Hello. He's looking after me, as you can see. And then I'll uh, disappear. Um, so I know the next bit really quite well. I've been recently walked it in the other direction with Mum and Dad on the Cumbria Way. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's going to be alright. Okay, I'm tired. Desperate want to finish, sort of 7 a.m. ish. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Okay, so uh, Ambleside was way too hot. There's a checkpoint. Didn't really know what I wanted to eat, everything seemed too dry. So I drank mostly in half crisps. Good to see Andy. Um, now, climbing up and out of uh, Ambleside. Um, it's a very dark night. Moon's gone, no stars. Oh, no stars. Uh, yeah, be nice to finish by eight. Be nice to finish before then. We'll see how we go. That might look a little bit too spooky. Okay, three o'clock in the morning. So that's however many, <laughs> uh, 33 hours done. Whew. Um, not too far to go to, I think we've got about 17 miles now. So that's really good. Um, just so dark. There's a group that left Ambleside together and it uh, would be nice to join them but I just need to keep moving and I'm so slow going up and so much quicker going down that uh, I just need to get there now. Okay, so just a very quick stop to let some blood flow back into my feet and then I'm going again. Bye bye. Oh, hashtag uh, live in the moment. 5 a.m. 35 hours done. Uh, I've got seven miles left to do. Um, a few little ups in that, but uh, I just can't wait to finish now. Really can't. So uh, I'll keep it short. Uh, lovely checkpoint back down in Dufa. Uh, Chapel style. Lovely. Okay, hashtag. Live in the moment. Okay, so coming down to Timberthwaite now, which will be three, maybe four miles or whatever to finish. Sorry, I haven't taken the phone out of the case. Uh, what proof case? Never mind. But uh, yeah, I have to show you this. <sighs> Nearly there. So I'm a little bit early with this, it's almost 7 am. And I'm almost 37 hours done and all that sort of thing. I uh, stopped at this point because. Uh, Hopefully you can see a line of people climbing up that final climb. So all I've got to do is get my accent to gear and get over there. Get up there. So left Timberthwaite. Hmm. Half an hour or so ago, I don't know, three quarters of an hour ago. I've still got about three, two and a half, three miles ago, who knows. I want to get up there, it's just downhill. Oh, I'm struggling now. I think my um, blood sugar's low, so I'm just munching on a bit of geocharge flapjack and hope that works. Oh, dear. I'm hoping you know, once I get on the downhill, I'll just fly again. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. We'll see. Oh, hopefully, that's a better view. Oh, Here we go. Oh, mm -hmm. hashtag. Live in the moment. So it's quarter past eight. Um, I finished just before eight. What was it? Uh, 37 hours, 47 minutes. Greenpeace. 
the maze. And that last bit really, really tough. Probably because I've been running so much. <laughs> well, you still ran to the finish. I know. I'm starting to get a bit lightheaded enough. I? I went to the assistance of a good old Chia Blackjack to um, give me a bit more energy. And yeah, ran down the hill. It was good. So, the hardest part was not running with you. Still did it. Still smashed it. I oh, know. Oh no, just not the same though. Definitely not the same. Um. Thank you.